Hi, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about my interview with Harvard, how it went, the questions I was asked, and just how you should prepare from what I experienced. So the last week of February, I, it was like towards the end of the week, I was contacted by someone in Jackson, Mississippi about a Harvard interview. And um, he had attended Harvard for law school. He had not, he had attended somewhere else for undergraduate school, for undergrad, but he had attended Harvard Law School. So that was really intimidating and I was super terrified. I was really scared. Um, and just a little bit of background information on myself. I am homeschooled. I applied test optional to Harvard, regular decision on the Common App and as a classics major. So a little bit of background information. So he contacted me and I scheduled it immediately because I wanted to get it over with because I was terrified and I just had had my Princeton and UPenn interviews like back to back. So I was kind of nervous, but I had prepared. So um, yeah, I was stressed out, but I, I, I did a ton of research beforehand, like, okay, about the houses and the dining, just like just random stuff because I wanted to feel like, what could he possibly ask me? I had no idea. And um, like I said, I was pretty terrified. So the questions he asked me, he, first he asked me about my school. Um, he had attended a really nice, like the, I was in the number one private school in Mississippi. And so he was pretty proud of his school, which I understand. And he seemed a little bit hesitant about homeschoolers, a little bit apprehensive, like he didn't know what to think of me. I bet I don't, he didn't seem super into homeschooling, which I totally get because there are no regulations really or guidelines for homeschoolers in Mississippi so I understand that he had no idea what he I was really doing for schoolwork so I went into great detail talking about my classes my university classes all that stuff so yeah so I explained for a while my school and then he asked me what I do in my free time do I make time to spend with my friends he even asked me about my grades and my GPA and my test scores I was not prepared for that but I, I quickly save the situation um, and he asked me what would I want for like as a roommate and what would I do with my selected major so we in the interview itself and those are all the questions he asked me but in the interview it's in the interview it was pretty conversation driven I would say a question and then I would sometimes like sputter out something that I wanted to ask him and he was like and I was like oh no it's okay I, I can ask it later but then he would like let me so it felt much more like a conversation than other interviews that I had um it was it, like I said I was pretty nervous during the interview it went over pretty fairly well by the end he did tell me that my homeschool curriculum my homeschool education rivaled his own at his private school which I, you know I was pretty flattered because he was really proud of it I, I understand it's a really great private school um so yeah it did go over pretty well um the decisions come out tomorrow, so I did this video so I wouldn't be super biased about Harvard or about my interview, or any, so I wouldn't be too positive or negative. He didn't ask me, there weren't a ton of questions, there was a lot of, that were not, so most of the questions were based on things I said. So he would say, uh-huh, yes, he would type it down, but I would say some, something about my classics major, like why I want to study classics. And then I would tie in some crazy story that I, that why I wanted to study classics that I had experienced. And then he had a follow-up question like, that's crazy, or um, I had no idea, or that's not really a question, but he would tie it into a later um, question. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but it was casual, not a big deal, but I do think that the interview does mean something. I don't know how what, what it means exactly, but word of the wise, check this out. So um, I don't know if it's the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal or whatever it is, there was a court that was, when Harvard was being sued for something with, with the applications, they released some court documents about the, ap the applications themselves, but also the interview and the scale and everything. And I got super into that when I was preparing for this interview. Maybe that was probably a terrible idea. What I do think that the interview does mean something so it is definitely worth your time to prepare and to know what you want to talk know what your strengths are and you know you just applied so you probably know what you talked about in your essays and um like i said he did ask me my test scores and my gpa i told him i would gpa of 4.0 but it's it's unweighted we don't wait we don't weigh any courses as a homeschooler and um we teach everything to the honors level and 
I applied test optional because I could and I felt like it was the best thing for my application. So we'll see what actually happens tomorrow. It went over really well. Um, prepare. Don't freak out though because you want to seem confident. Um, I keep on saying um in this, in this video, but don't say um in the interview. I tried to say exactly very precise answers to the questions. I didn't, I wasn't like short or cut off. I didn't cut off randomly, but I would get very succinct, but very descriptive, precise answers that really were unique. I wanted to make everything so unique that if some random person, um, there, there was no random person who could have the same responses. So I would say my answer and then I would stop talking. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh, I didn't do anything like very casual. And then I would wait for his response or wait for a follow-up question or something like that. It felt, I say they felt, I say, I say it felt casual, but and there was an air of formality. There was an air of, this is a pretty serious interview. Even though he told me beforehand, oh, it's not a big of a deal. It's not, I don't, I'm not the final decision or anything. So, you know, it was nice that he said that. I think it was just to kind of calm my nerves a little bit because I, I get kind of nervous but um yeah there was an air of formality and an air of this is kind of a serious interview but it was casual and that it was a conversation and I would say a qu I would ask a question he would answer and then he would ask me another question so be prepared about your major your extracurriculars what you like to do in your free time he really wanted to know if I had time to hang out with my friends which I do and what I do in my free time that isn't just school. He really wanted to write, from what I got, it seemed that he really didn't want to just write down, oh yeah, she's homeschooled. She does a lot of, she takes a lot of classes. Oh yeah, her, she is always, you know, has a hundred GPA in her college classes. He didn't want to only just write that down. He wanted to also be able to talk, mention not just volunteering, but oh yeah, she's able to go to movies with her friends on the weekends, or she's able to go walk downtown or go, hang out with people. She wanted, he wanted to be able to talk about how I am a, someone who would, you would want to meet at Harvard or someone you would want to be friends with. There was a very much a, we're grading you on your um, ability to make friends or your ability to just talk to people. That's what I got from it. Don't freak out. You totally got this. And I will, I don't think I'm going to get in at, I don't think I will get in at all. I'm waiting for it tomorrow. Tomorrow evening is going to be a pretty sad night. I'm hoping for the best. I don't think I'll get in, but I did my best with my application. I did my best with my interview and um, we'll see what happens. But you know, chances are pretty slim. I'll, I'll give an update when I can, but thanks for watching and I hope this kind of helped. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will be happy to answer as soon as I can. So good luck.